Hey everyone, this is Travis with Full Spectrum Laser. I have a custom used Titan with me today. It needs an alignment, so follow me and I'll show you how. This is the assembly that houses your beam combiner, your red diode, and mirror one. This is located on the back side of your gantry on the left side, all the way in the back left corner. There are two lasers in the Muse Titan. The CO2 laser is naked to the human eye, so the red laser is there to visualize the path of the CO2 laser. In this step, we are going to align the red laser with the CO2 laser. It can be a bit tricky to access mirror one. If you're having difficulties, you can open the side panel. There are a series of M4 and M5 screws that need to be removed. Remember, do not open the panel beyond 45 degrees. First, check that your beam combiner and all the mirrors are free of damages or scratches. Make sure they're 100% reflective and clean to get the best results. Also, check to make sure the beam combiner is properly glued down. If not, it will become difficult to align the red diode later. Mirror 1 is located all the way to the left on the back side of the gantry. Take a piece of thermal paper and stick it to that mirror. Make sure you press it down so you get an impression of the mirror. Position your laser head so it is all the way in the back left corner of the Titan. Then close the lid and do a test fire. We want to make sure that this dot is positioned in the center of the mirror. I'm going to show you how to position that now. On top of the mirror assembly, there are two screws. Use your three millimeter wrench to loosen them so you can move that assembly forward to backwards so you can center that dot to the center of mirror one. Test fire as needed to make sure that the beam is firing onto the center of mirror one. Once it is centered, tighten the two screws on top to make sure that the plate is secured. The goal is to ensure that the beam is firing through the center of the beam combiner and under the center of mirror one. Place a piece of thermal paper on mirror three located on the gantry. Make sure the paper is large enough since the beam may walk as you move it further down the gantry. Now we're gonna move it all the way to the left so it's closest to mirror two. Once the laser head is all the way to the left, we will want to close the lid and do a test fire. Once you have test fired, we're going to want to align the red diode to match the test fire dot. We will be adjusting the screws on the red diode in order to align the red diode with the CO2 test fire. After we've aligned the red dot in this position, move the laser head about 12 inches to the right Close the lid and do another test fire. Once you've aligned the red diode in this first position, move the laser head all the way to the right on the gantry. Once the laser head is all the way to the right, repeat the process. Once you've adjusted your red diode, you should be good to move on to the next step. If your red diode or the test fire walks too far off of the thermal paper as you move it down the gantry, you may have to adjust mirror two, but only do this as a last resort. Now that the red diode and the CO2 laser are aligned to the same spot, we're going to align the laser across the gantry. To start this, we're gonna move the laser head to the back left corner of the machine. We're going to start by placing a piece of thermal paper on mirror three. And then adjust only mirror one to make sure the red dot lands in the center of mirror three. After you've verified that it is centered in the middle of mirror three, do a test fire to make sure it matches. If the red diode and the test fire don't match up, go back to the beginning of the previous step and do it over again. If they do match up, let's move on. Leave the piece of thermal paper with your test fire on mirror three, then move the head about 12 inches to the right on the gantry. Now check to see if the red dot has strayed from the center. If it has, adjust mirror two to move it back to the center test fire. When your test fire and the red dot line up in every position across the gantry, you're ready to move on to the next step. At this point, the beam should be aligned to the center of mirror three, the entire length of the gantry. We no longer need this side open, so you can close it now. 
At this point, we are completely finished aligning mirror one, two, and the red diode, so you do not need to touch those again. Now we're gonna move on to the Z-axis. You'll need a piece of thermal paper. Remove the focus lens and put a piece of thermal paper in its place. The red dot should not move when the Z-axis raises or lowers. If it does, only adjust mirror three to make adjustments. Using a hex key, loosen the screw holding the nose cone in place. This will allow it to move freely forward and backwards. Adjust it so the red dot lines up to the center of the lens. When you have it aligned, tighten the screw to secure it back in place. Adjust the Z-axis up and down to make sure the red dot does not move. If it does, go back to the previous step and adjust mirror three. Remove the thermal paper and put the lens back. Put your piece of thermal paper under the lens, and then autofocus, and do a test fire. Your result should be a sharp, precision black point. Now, to test the alignment, we're going to do the same thing in each corner of the machine. You should get the same precise dot in each corner of the machine. If you encounter any clipping, go back and adjust mirror three to make sure it is firing directly straight down into the lens. All right, and with that, your laser should be aligned. If you run into any issues, or if you had any struggles with any of those steps, feel free to contact our support team and they'll be able to help you out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.